Hello everyone, I'm Aaron the Black Dragon. I'm Terry Garen. And today I'm racing against Shadow Mari in all of the stages that we've visited so far. <coughs> I'm gonna try to catch up to him in every stage. Shadow Mario on the loose. We have to do all of them in every stage in yeah. order to get to the final level. And it, I think it's just the same thing as I had to do with... Yeah, just spray him. Where were you going? I'm right behind you. I want to point out, and that's something uh, that I find a little bit weird, but... Why can you be in water? I think it's more the pressure of the water you shoot at him that's hurting him rather than the water itself. Ah, I remember this! Because I'm pretty sure it hurts way more to get hosed down with a, with a water hose than it is to, like, take a bath. You don't know, the only time we see Bowser take a bath is always in lava. We don't know how the Cooper King and everyone else associated to him is actually when it comes <coughs> to water. The only time we see Bowser inside water is with Mario Maker and those stages ain't canon. What was the second level? This one? I think this one over there. I think, yeah, but also it doesn't matter. I try. I wanna try to do them in order. Eh, whatever. I think that was the second one. And if not, it's your fault. You did not stop me. Rico Arbor, Shadow Mario Revisited. That was fast. This is, I think, one of the more annoying chases. I think so, yeah, because the level is all climbing. Yeah. Whoops. Where are you going there, bud? Uh, the right beam for um, oh, uh, swapping nozzles. Yeah. So where did he go? Did he go all the way up? Because I still hear the music. Where the flip are you? Good thing those aren't time. Um. Ah. I think over to the left, maybe. I'm gonna go over there. The fact that I held on to that is kind of. Amazing. Yeah, over there. Wait, oh, oh, I see. Flipping H. I'll, I'll be, be right back. Oh, yeah. I'm coming for you, don't worry. I'm like a serial killer in a horror movie. You're running and I'm walking and yet somehow I will end up behind you and slice your throat. Don't question it, it's just gonna happen. That reminds me of an image I saw of DDD once where he said, I'm gonna fucking cut you with my hammer. I mean, if anyone can cut you with a hammer, I, I would suspect it to be DDD. Especially since uh, in his um, DDD tour in uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe, he actually has a move that uh, acts like sword and cutter. Four puzzles. That's kind of hilarious. No, Mario! I hate the camera! Can you not try and turn around while I'm having a perilous dance around trying not to die? You know what? I'm just not gonna run after you because this honestly makes way more sense in the long run. I wonder if it actually works or if he like regenerates after a while. I mean I'm still hitting him from over here so Oh you, you mean like it's proximity as well to him. I think that's something I don't know but I'm definitely hitting him. I'm gonna go over here because there's something to land on. Oh my god. How did that even happen? I hate this! Good thing I started doing this the second one. 
Hey Cleaver, where do you go? You will bring me high enough. I don't want to be on the... Sure. Sure, I say. I... Why, game? You can be so tedious with certain things that you're doing. Come on. <sighs> game! Can you not... That's a thing on the left. Apparently you cannot grab onto the ledge of that, and if you decide to try and do that, Mario will instead glitch underneath it. Sounds like Mario Sunshine. I hate this so much. This is definitely the worst stage to run after him. Mario! What are you doing to me? I'm here. There you go. So if we ever get to play um, Mario Galaxy and or maybe uh, Mario Odyssey, I feel like uh, you're gonna have a way better time since those two games are way more polished than Sunshine. No, honestly, I'm looking... At this point I'm looking forward to Mario 64. I... I wanna say that Mario 64 is also a bit better polished than Sunshine. But that game is kind of suffering from some um, first 3D game crust on its own. So I mean that's true, Espe but especially the later levels. To be honest, with uh, Mario 64, I feel like the levels that are in the upper floors of Peach's Castle aren't as good as the ones in the lower uh, floors. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely my feelings towards them as well. I think. I think the first couple of levels that you play in Mario 64 are extremely good. Yeah, that's why I feel like people are more drawn towards them in the long run. After him, by the way. That's also why they stick out to you a lot more. Because they're so good. Like, I think uh, Power on Battlefield is a really good first level. Yeah. Because there's not really any um, bottomless pits that you can fall into. But there's still uh, plenty of danger to teach you, hey, uh, watch out for those things, those can hurt. Yeah. Um, I hit you there, buddy. It's just um, that the later levels in Mario 64... Oh, I um, hate how long you are stunted when you get hit by him. Yeah. It's also that the later levels in Mario 64 feel kinda wonky with, with the... Um, with the... Um, with a diagonal... Um, spaces yeah, where I, can, I hit the camera you right can you can slip extremely easily. Of all the places that they could have him run through, why right here? Oh, oh there I you. actually got it. You all right? I think recording dog might have fallen asleep a little bit and gotten a little bit of a nightmare there. Which I want to point out, and that's something that I feel like is really sad, but recording dog, Millie is really prone to having nightmares, it feels like. Oh, I didn't Because know that. a lot of times when she's <coughs> laying around and sleeping, uh, she all of a sudden will just start to wince and give up like slight little barks and such. Hmm. And it feels like she's having a lot of nightmares. Hmm. And right now, uh, we wouldn't really know how we could do anything for her to make it better other than just come to her and try and comfort her when we see that she's not having a good time. Like that's literally the only thing that at the moment we know we can do for her is just trying to comfort her and make her feel at ease. But yeah, it's kind of a Mario, please. <laughs> kind of a shame to see that she's like, let's say, like the suffering from nightmares that often pull recording doggo. Yeah. Shut them in the park again. Ah. I'll probably without the giant robots this time. Yeah, but <coughs> the whole park to be annoying. So who knows if that's actually better. 
Good job. Good bonk. Horny bonk. I have the sound effect, I can play it in here. Can you stop being such a chumpy bastard and just accept the dolls? You also don't complain, you're a pianta. You have to accept the dolls just as much as Shadow Mario has to. Also, thanks for just standing around. Can you do that again? That was really nice of you. Also, in the bother. Where are you? You walk with the stews. I'm coming, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm here. So yeah. Can um, you please just get hit? Um so yeah, about Sunshine I also kinda wanna say that um many many many, not all of the earlier levels are also kinda better than some of the later ones. Yeah. There you go. Just had to chase him around one whole round. No! You! Shut it! Be back! Poor recording dog. But yeah, definitely. Also, they stick out more to memory. But that's something I feel like a lot of times uh, is a, a case with games. It's like the earlier stages or moments of games stick out to you a lot more than later ones. <coughs> Probably because um, the ones that are more striking tend to be put uh, first in a game so that you get a good first impression. Might be. So... Let me just... <coughs> Let's just take a look, see... Serena Beach, Noki Bay, Pianta Village. Okay. I don't oh know, I know where. Okay. Let's just do this first because that's the next on the list. And then I have to look into the sun. Shadow Mario checks in. Uh, I check out. That means he's inside? Oh, fine, I'm out. So that's also gonna be a little bit of a tedious one. Not as tedious as the arbor, but still tedious. Hello there, let me in. Let me in. Oh Mario, there's a troublemaker inside who looks like you. Hurry, get in there. Deal with yourself. Hey there, how, how, how's it going? I'll have to apparently what was that, camera? That's weird. I hate that! Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, the camera is really weird in this level. Why would you do that? Okay, you do fancy flips. I'm just gonna spray all over you. And then get stuck. Thank you for standing right next to me so that I can still start spraying you right now and get back up. I'm doing a little bit weird. Attention! Weird! For some odd reason the camera when going down was not as tedious as with going up when it started to just turn in the complete opposite direction of where I wanted to look at. Game? Mario, what are you doing there? Grabbing onto the edge. Holding onto the edge of tomorrow? Yes. Yark! You're so annoying! Turned into pirate. Part Mario. Must have seen uh, the first season of <coughs> Black Means Death. I don't know if you get that reference. I get it only because it's all over my Twitter feed. No, I, I haven't seen I that show. It. I don't get it. I haven't seen it either. It's a pirate show apparently about Blackbeard. That's all I know. Hmm. Anyway. If you have feelings about uh, our flag means that, let me know. I don't know anything about the show, but I'm interested in learning. No Bay. I feel like that's... Hold it, Shadow Mario. Hold it! Now, if, now you need to put in the hold it from uh, Ace Attorney. And the music. Because isn't the hold it also associated with the music track? Uh, not necessarily. 
sincerity. Where the flip you going, man? Yeah, man? Man, I really need to play uh, the Ace Attorney games on the Switch more. Because just like the first trilogy, as well as the, Where am I going? As well as the uh, Great Ace Attorney duology um, on it already. And especially Great Ace Attorney looks fucking great on Switch. Or generally on an HD console. Because I um, like to actually get about the jump. Sorry. Because um, while uh, Great Great Ace Attorney was a three, was um, like two 3DS titles uh, initially, uh, the models and such were pretty high quality. I can see what I'm doing. I hate it. That's actually something that we could think about because. I don't feel like uh, I'm too much game for like Daisy Tanner games myself. Or, oh. or visual novels in general. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it depends. Visual novels as such, I really enjoy. It's just like, for some reason, I don't get into Ace Attorney or the Dungeon Romper games. And that I feel like is kind of a shame. You're fine, Mario. Just chill. But I know that you like them, so we could technically go and tackle one of these games together at one point. We could. Then I can experience them myself. I did not get you, but thank you for just falling over all of a sudden. Although, um, I've heard a little bit about the, about uh, Danganronpa, and I'm not sure if it's something for me, because it sounds a little bit too uh, edgy, like try hard, if that, if that makes sense. I don't know. But if you ever want to play um, Ace Attorney together for your channel, I'm game. Ace Attorney would be fun. You know what's not fun? What I'm about to do. Just Shadow oh, yeah. Mario. Actually, no, in fact, <coughs> I feel like Shadow Mario wouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah. Unless he goes down there. No, I don't think he does. I don't think he's gonna be that big of a deal. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. That's alert. That's alert. Ooh. Ah, dang it. Yeah, the shine is clean. Mm -hmm. About our assumption last time that we did not get that yet. I actually bonked my head inside of the pipe. Did you see the stars flying off? As you do. That's wild. Just like Shadow Mario, who is running wild. Okay, let's go. Yeah, they no. did not go. No, I don't think that works on this bridge. I ow! Excuse me, game. Oh yeah. Ah, that's why this chase was an annoying one. Yeah, he's drawing the um the the hurdy juice. Yeah, hurdy juice. I mean, nice. You're definitely a flex, I mean, definitely. I remember this. Or could you play a game right now that has pirates in it? Like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, maybe. Or Wind Waker. Yeah, Wind Waker, also an option. Man, I still wanna play Wind Waker, but it's just Nintendo uh, delayed Breath of the Wild 2, and now everyone's like, what if Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD are going to be released on Switch this year? Yeah. So I'm like. Should, that was should, a nice spawn back, by the way. Yeah. So I'm like, should we wait or should we ch just say fuck it and play the Wii U version instead? Big question here. But anyway, we we're not we're not um we're not like specifically <laughs> saying that we're playing it anytime soon. It's just I really want to play it for your channel. Yeah, definitely same. Everything's flooded now. Yeah. If you go uh, into the um if you go into the final level or I think just. Get the shine, you uh, can make the flood go away. That's alert. Delfino Plaza has recently experienced a waterfall like deluge of rain in all areas. Residents are advised to seek shelter on rooftops to avoid the rising flood waters. Dot, dot, dot. Thank you, William Chetner. <laughs> oh no! 
The water has risen. Avoid by going on roof tops. <laughs> it just didn't have to stop the movement. Yeah, no. Also, was he actually a bad um, actor or is it just like some lighthearted poking fun at? I think it might be a bit of both, I think. The thing is, uh, I don't really remember ever watching stuff where William Shatner was um, really acting. Yeah. He was in Star Trek, right? Yeah. I remember watching Star Trek, but I don't remember anything about how he acted. And even then, uh, it was in German, so he got dubbed over anyway for us. So. Yeah, so we would have gotten a different experience anyway. So, question. If I go <laughs> up there, we start the final level? Yeah, there's a, there's a cave there that was uh, originally closed off. And if you go inside that cave, that's the final level. And it starts immediately. Okay. So that means we're gonna end this episode early so that we have the final stage in the final episode? Yes. Okay, then I'm just gonna pounce this uh, wooden log into the water until we see each other next time. Bye. Bye bye.